Hey, Titch. I'm home. Come help me with the groceries. They didn't have mango-flavored ice cream, so I took hazelnut again. And I'll hear no complaints from you. You know it's my favorite. Ah, there you are. What took you so long? Did you have some closed doors fun in your room and I had to put some pants on first before getting out? Oh, come on! Shut it, Titch! Man, you really can't take a joke. Okay, here. Take these. They need to get into the freezer right now before they melt. And all of this goes into the fridge. Oops, not that one. Here, give it back. What? No, that's mine. Hey, stop that! Don't open it! Give it back! Sheesh, it's, um... Some stuff I bought for myself. Um... You know. Clothes and stuff. No, it's nothing embarrassing. I just don't want you sifting through my stuff. Come on! Put away the food stuff while I, um... Stole away the rest. All right. So then, what shall we make for dinner? Hi. What is it? What you staring at, Titch? Huh? My receipt. What? You're checking out now that I didn't go over budget or something? Are you afraid I secretly bought some chocolate bars without telling you so I wouldn't have to share them? Wait, that's not the... Oh, shit. Hey, give me that! Dude, why are you even shifting through my stuff? That's creepy, man. I mean it. How the heck you were putting away groceries? Huh? No, that's not mine. It must have slipped into my shopping bag during, um... Bagging... Groceries. It must be somebody else's receipt. I mean, the shopping carts over at the mall are always littered with old receipts because some assholes are too lazy to throw them away. I must have grabbed it while cramming all my stuff into the bag. Huh? No, it doesn't. Oh, and how would you know that, Titch? You've been looking at my purchases pretty damn closely, huh? Again, creepy. Yeah? So what if it's got the same logo as the bag that I... Um, the one that contained my personal purchases. Again, mostly clothes and stuff. No, I'm not hiding it from you. Just because I don't want you to dig through my personal belongings... No, it's nothing embarrassing. It's just none of your business. It's like underwear and stuff. Yeah, I don't wear panties, but I still wear bras. Most of the time. What? No, I'm not half nude. Dude, I have an eco-skeleton. Also, have you ever seen any panties for eight legs? Man, why am I even discussing this with you? This is weird. Yeah, so what if I went to a place called Plushy Paradise? I didn't buy anything there. Oh yeah, I bought an item called Mr. Snuggles. But that's, uh, um, it's an adult toy. What? Don't look at me so surprised. I'm a big girl, and I don't care what you think about me. And that's why I... What? No. Mr. Snuggles is an adult toy, and I am an excellent liar. Oh, you're stupid. Why should I buy a stuffed toy? I'm none of those, oh, look at my glitter fake nails. I'm 23 and I still sleep with a plushie. Now let's all have a tea party, girls. I dress in all black, I listen to metal, 
And when other little girls were playing with their dolls and teddy bears, I wrote my first apps in Python. So don't you even think to... No. I will not show you. Keep away from my personal belongings, weirdo. Oh, and if you even dare to get close to my room, I swear you will spend the evening wrapped up in silk and hanging upside down from the ceiling. Hey, what are you doing? Oh, I don't believe that you gave up so easily. You are an even worse liar than I am. Not that I was a bad liar. Plus, I wasn't lying. So, what are you... You're googling for plushy paradise? Gosh, don't you have anything better to do? Oh, and according to their webpage, Mr. Snuggles is a teddy bear? He's the newest in their product line? Is that so? Yeah, okay, I bought a teddy bear. I, your toughest nails, metalhead, web designer roomie, actually went to a toy store and bought a fluffy, cotton-filled likeness of a carnivorous mammal. Oh, wow. Everybody, please remain seated. Details will be given at the press conference. No, it's not for me. It's a present for my, um, my niece. Yeah, I have a niece. She is a really sweet, cute little bug, and she really likes teddy bears and stuff. No, I never told you of my niece. Well, I have a whole bunch of nieces! I mean, I have several hundred siblings, so obviously I've had a good many nephews and nieces. What? Oh, um, because her birthday is coming up. Yeah, her birthday's coming up, and that's why I needed to get her a present. Peace, I'm such an awesome aunt. Huh? Oh, it's gonna be next, um, Tuesday. Huh? Oh, we're having Bob and Kelly over next Tuesday? Was that Tuesday? <laughs> I thought that was on Wednesday. Yeah, I said Tuesday would be fine for me. No, you don't need to cancel on Bob and Kelly. No, I'm not going to pass up on my niece's birthday. Would you just stop? <sighs> okay, yeah, you win. My niece's birthday isn't next Tuesday. I, I just bought her a blushy just like that. Nice people do stuff like that, you know. Buying things for their little nephews and nieces and stuff. Maybe you should try that one of these days. You know, being nice. Why did I... Well, I initially lied about buying a plush toy because... Knowing you, I was certain you would not believe me if I said that I bought it for my niece and think instead that I bought a plushie for myself like one of those annoying girly girls. You know the type. Those Fifty Shades of Pink types with their fake nails and their fake hair and their fake personalities. Ugh! I hate it if people thought I was one of those. You know... If I was, I'd probably have my whole room full of stuffed toys. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh no. Don't you dare. I swear, if you dare to... You... This is not what it looks like. I can totally explain this. You see, I, I, I bought them all for my niece. Well, not just for that one niece. I told you, I have a lot of nieces. Huh? Well, um, Christmas... You know, Christmas is coming up and I need a present for each of them. And I tell you, it's really exhausting to come up with so many presents each year. I'd say, you know what it's like, but you probably don't have hundreds of nephews and nieces. Yeah, I know it's still months till Christmas, but you know what they say. Don't put off until tomorrow what you can do today. Yeah, some of them look pretty old and worn out. Hey. 
If you have so many nieces, you have to buy a few presents secondhand. It's not like my money simply comes falling from the sky, you know? And they're not worn out. They've just been snuggled a lot. Not by me, of course. What? No, I did buy them for my nephews and nieces. I did. Yeah, I sorted them all neatly into my shelves. Um, you know, to keep track of them and... You don't believe me, do you? <sighs> yeah, they're not for my nieces. I bought them for myself, okay? But you see, I... I buy them ironically. Yeah, to make fun of those silly girly girls who still have plushies. Haha! <laughs> Aren't they stupid? Wait, what? No, I'm not hard shell, soft core. My core is exactly as hard as my shell. I'm like a hard onion, layer after layer of hard shells. Now stop grinning like that! No, there aren't hundreds of them. It's 93. Not counting Mr. Snuggles. He'd be number 94. Huh? Because they are so cute and fluffy and cuddly and... <clears throat> um, I mean, they are kind of, um, decorative. Yeah, that's a pink unicorn. Yeah, that's a giant teddy bear. I had to smuggle him in when you were out of the house. Yeah, there's a bunny blushy lying on my bed. But I don't sleep with it. It must have fallen off the shelf and onto my bed. Yeah, it's tucked under the blanket. Yeah, I do sleep with it. His name's Hoppy. He's my favorite. I swear, if you tell anyone, I will inject you with my digestive juices and slurp you like a soft drink. Hey, no, you... You wouldn't. I swear, if you tell anyone... Hey, wait! I'm sorry, dude. I'm super sorry. I really don't want to do this. But I can't have you telling anyone about my... Well, this here. Hey, stop struggling. Arachne silk has a higher tensile strength than steel. There is no way on earth you could possibly break free from this. Again, I'm super sorry, but I was panicking. I still am, kinda. Okay, what do I do? What do I do? Come on, girl, think. Are you angry with me now? Okay, listen, buddy. I will take off the gag if you promise not to scream, okay? Simply not. Okay, here we go, buddy. What? No, this is not gross. This is silk, you uncultural rube. Some people pay a ton of money for that. Yeah, it came out of my body. So what? You drink milk and eat eggs and stuff. That stuff also came out of some creature's body. Okay, again, I'm mega sorry. Yeah, I will untie you. If you promise not to tell anyone of my, um, my collection. Sorry, Titch, but I have a reputation to uphold. Don't you get the wrong idea now. Just because I do own a few plushies doesn't mean I'm suddenly an annoying girly girl. I'm still tough. And me! And... Huh? What do you mean you get it? You're just saying that so I can untie you. You are trying to trick me. You think now that I'm one of those shallow, dainty... <laughs> yeah, I listen to metal. Yeah, I listen to metal at 2 in the morning. Yeah, and when our neighbor complained about it, I tied him up and stuck him to the ceiling down in the boiler room. Yeah, and it took two days till somebody found him. 
so you don't think I'm a shallow roomie even though now you know of my unhealthy obsession with stuffed toys? Huh? You don't think it's unhealthy? That's great. Because I have my eyes on that giant plush giraffe. And it wouldn't fit into my room anymore and... Please don't tell anyone. Huh? Are you trying to blackmail me? Wow. That's low, Titch. Okay. I'll untie you. Okay, I'll stop stealing your Cheetos. Okay, and I'll clear up my old webs in the kitchen. Yeah, okay, and next time I'll molt, I will not eat my old eco-skeleton in front of you. What? I have to eat it. It's got a lot of minerals and stuff. I even offered you a bite. What do you want? Hey. It's a perfectly natural procedure. It's not my problem that queasy little soft skins like you can't handle themselves from nature. Huh? Oh, stop whining. My thread did not cut into your skin. I could still slip two fingers under that thread, as one should. I stayed away from your neck, I stayed away from the large nerves or blood vessels, I used no slip knots that could tighten you when pulled. And I checked whether your hands were getting cold, as you always should when tying someone up. Huh? Oh, um, that is just general knowledge. I heard that, um, somewhere. Yeah, okay, and I promise to never tie you up again, Titch. <sighs> and I will stop calling you Titch. Huh? You're okay with me calling you Titch? Oh, okay. No, I won't say something. You say something. Not that! How dare you. I'm not cute. I am the opposite of cute. I'm a tough, scary, vicious arachne. Yeah, I sleep with my favorite bunny blushy named Hoppy. Um... This is awkward. How about I just go to the kitchen and clean up my old webs? What? Of course I have to build webs everywhere. I'm a web designer, remember? No, that joke is not getting old. It's a classic. Classics don't get old, like Kenny Reeves. Why do you even complain about my webs? We never have any mosquitoes in the apartment. Or wasps. And Jehovah's Witnesses are gonna think twice about bugging us again after that one guy got stuck in my web. Oh, come on. I wasn't gonna eat him for real. So, what do we do now? Oh, do we have to talk about my blushies? I mean, how much of an agonized expression do I have to make for you to realize that I'm not really comfortable with that topic? Oh, really? Well, you see, sometimes when I get home from work and I had a bad day and everything's going down the drain, I just need something to... I mean, sometimes... You know, when you are an arachnid growing up in a mostly human society, there aren't that many people willing to cuddle you. Like you have all those sweet, cuddly, fluffy neckos and bunny girls hopping around out there with their cute fuzzy ears and their adorable pink toe beans. And when you guys see a spider, you always reach for the newspaper to swat them or the bug spray or whatever. So why would any one of you possibly want to cuddle with the likes of me? That's why I got myself some fluffy plush toys. They're better than nothing.
Huh? What do you mean? You would... Oh, leave me alone with your pity cuddles. I'm not that desperate. Just because I poured my heart out to you doesn't mean I'm suddenly a weak little... Oh. You mean you... But I'm a tough girl. And I listen to metal and I don't wear girly clothes. And I... Yeah, you know. I know. You know. I mean, we live together and stuff. So... You know that I'm not one of those cuddly, cutesy kind of girls. And you still want to... Oh. Okay. Um... So... Shall we... I don't know. Start right now? Why do you ask me? I haven't done this before either. I guess we should... Maybe sit on the couch? Well, with my blushes, I usually just brush my cheek against them and... Um, this doesn't really... Maybe if you lie down and I... Oh, oopsie. Oh, this is actually rather comfy. Could you... Yeah, that is actually quite nice. Keep going. Uh, why did we do this earlier? Do you want me to... I don't know, struggle you or something? My plushies don't usually give me feedback, so I don't actually know whether I'm any good at this. Oh, you really think so? Aw, thank you. I'm doing my best. <sighs> Can we do this more often? I wouldn't mind if this became a regular occurrence in our household. Um, I still can get my plush giraffe, right? What? I'll even share it with you. Wow, are you getting jealous of a piece of fabric? Way to go, Teach. Way to go.